president of Misery Reporting University, Dr. Mike McDowell, to make a historic announcement. Dr. McDowell. Thanks so much, David, and thank you all for coming. Please uh, pardon our progress. We're putting in a brand new fitness center over there, and it's a little torn up, but the Sanderson Center is a wonderful place and certainly a, a very, very fitting venue to make this announcement. Uh, Ms. Ricord is excited to announce that we are adding Division III football to our offering of 24 intercollegiate sports here at Ms. Ricord, and that will be effective September of 2012. This has not been a rapid decision. A uh, task force consist consisting of trustees, of alumni, of students, of faculty, and staff, representing, of course, our primary constituents, conducted a very thorough review of football and uh, came to the conclusion that it should be implemented here at Misericordia. That report was given to the trustees, who thoroughly reviewed it and voted on Friday uh, to bring Division III football to to Misericordia. The addition of football to Misericordia will enhance the campus experience for many of our current students and, of course, future students. A football is a major social event throughout the United States, and we feel that it will be so here. We did do a survey through the Student Activities Office of all students and through the student government of students. 84% of our current students said they wanted to see football at Misericordia. That does not mean that 84% will be playing football. Uh, Misericordia currently enrolls a record number of students, and uh, the enrollment growth has been gradual, it has been strategic, and it's been built upon a solid reputation of academics. Uh, we hope and know that we will continue to have that as the basis for all of the sports at Misericordia. As a matter of fact, our collegiate athletes on average have GPAs that are two-tenths of a percent higher than all students here, here at Misericordia. Our recent growth has been predominantly in the area of health sciences. About 40% of our students major in nursing, PT, OT, speech and language pathology, or medical imaging. And the, the analysis of football playing high school students shows that they tend to major in fields such as history, education, marketing, business, and psychology, and so we have some room for expansion in those areas, and that's why football makes sense for us. In addition, football may also make Misericordia much more attractive uh, to students throughout the Northeast and throughout states in which we draw, draw students. Nationally, about 45% uh, of all college students now are males. Uh, females attend college at much greater rates than do than do males, and so at Misericordia, we're interested in, in working out that balance. We'll never have a 50-50 ratio, but obviously football will attract men, and that's another reason for our addition, addition of football. And finally, most importantly, I think, uh, Misericordia has been admitted to, as all of you know, into the Mid-Atlantic Corporation, the MAC uh, Athletic Conference, and our previous conference, the PAC, did not play football. Uh, we talked about football for years, and once we were admitted into the MAC, it eminently made sense to begin to begin a football program. Uh, when operated correctly, Division III athletics at an academically focused institution like Misericordia makes eminent sense. It is a win-win. I already mentioned that our athletes, varsity athletes, have average GPAs higher than the, average, than the students here, than the average student here. If you're good enough to get into Misericordia, you have a good coach and you learn a little bit about time management, you'll do exceedingly well as an athlete, whether you play football, soccer, or field hockey here. Uh, back at our luncheon, our annual athletic luncheon, <clears throat> scholar athlete luncheon last year, 104 of our varsity athletes have a GPA of 3.4 or higher, and we know that that tradition will be carried on by our new football program. One of the reasons why Misericordia has been successful, very successful in athletics, is because it's as good a time as any to uh, unveil our newest prop. But uh, I, I would like to first start out by thanking Dr. McDowell and our board of trustees for bringing the football 
to our campus. Um, we see it not as just adding football, but as an enhancement to our entire athletic program. And with the addition of football, it brings us to 24 varsity sports, and it will bring the number of student athletes participating in our program to uh, approximately 500. So uh, we're very proud of how we've grown our program and where we're at today. At Misericordia, successfully adding football is, it means that we will administer the program the right way. And what that means to us is that we are going to hire a coach who is going to recruit student athletes that belong here, that fit here academically, that fit here socially, and that understand the role that athletics plays at an immersive institution such as ours. Um, that is the first step in, in this, pro in this uh, process, if you will. We will begin our search for a new coach next month with the idea that we would have a new head coach in place uh, by February 1 of, of this year so that uh, he can begin the recruiting process as well as begin to administer the, uh, the program and get the program underway. We will hire a coaching staff, as I said, that is committed to recruiting the, the type of student athlete that we have here now that will be successful both in the classroom and on the athletic field. Dr. McDowell had alluded to the fact that uh, we are members of the MAC, and at this time I would like to recognize Ken Andrews, our commissioner, who is here. Ken, stand up and say hello. and all of the football playing members of the MAC for all of their help and tremendous support throughout this process. Uh, the folks at Wilkes, Kings, Widener, Lebanon Valley have been extremely helpful in what you can imagine has been a very long ongoing process in terms of gathering information that we put toward making this, this decision. So I thank everyone in the MAC for that. And we certainly look forward to being a part of what many feel is one of the uh, most outstanding football playing conferences in the country. In terms of uh, some of the nuts and bolts, where we will play, uh, we will play our home games at Mangelsdorf Field. As many of you know, Mangelsdorf Field was constructed in 2002, and when it was built, we had the foresight to build it to meet football specifications. Uh, there are the sleeves for goalposts already in the field. It's, a, it, it's as simple as changing out the turf, putting a new turf down. Uh, we will build a bleacher system with a press box, we will build a field house out at Mangelsdorf that will contain locker rooms for all of our other field sport teams, uh, the soccer, lacrosse, field hockey. We will have an athletic training room out there as well as a weight training facility for our athletes. So as I said earlier, this uh, initiative is going to assist and aid every one of our student athletes, not just football. In addition to the work that will be done at Mangelsdorf Field, we will be turfing uh, our grass soccer field so that in no way will our other uh, student athletes take any type of a step backward. We want them to have the same opportunity to be able to compete at the levels that they have competed at in the past. We will also, uh, at this same time, undertake renovations to our baseball facility. At this time, I would uh, open it up for any questions that anyone may have of myself.